So I've just got a Jackson's haul in. I did buy these ones, which are the Forest, a few weeks ago. And they come like this, little tubes. They're only like five mils of paint. Tiny little tubes. I wanted to buy maybe two more of the sets, but they're very expensive paints. I mean, they're gorgeous paints, don't get me wrong. They are worth it, but I wanted to sort of cut down the price. And I was looking at my dot card chart, which most of you have seen if you've been on my channel. And I ringed around the ones I really like the most. And I found out that it would be more beneficial to me to buy the paint singular and some of the colours that I really wanted. The only problem is they don't come in the 5 mils. They come in the pans or 15 mil, I think it is. Which are more, they're, I think the 15 mils are 15 quid each. But the pans are like half the price of that. So I went over to Jackson's and I've done a little haul over there. So I'll show you some of them colours in a moment. I'm just going to open the stuff that I bought and show you the little bits that I bought. Um, some of you have been um, disappointed on my recent Jackson haul um, that I uploaded because I'd just gone through basically getting little bits and pieces that I needed and I'm not showing like great big sets of £200 watercolours and, you know, out of the ordinary. And basically, I've only just started... A few months ago, watercolouring, thanks to Kerry. <laughs> Kerry. Kerry Paints, if you don't know, go over there and subscribe. Um, and also Diane, um, which is Diane Aton Studios. She's um, She does some fantastic stuff also. There's a lot of people out there that are doing it. And I just find it relaxing, so I wanted to get some nice things. Um, I'm a nuisance with paint brushes. I never find a good brush when I need one, but these cheap ones. Hang on. Now I've got three of these now. They were marked down as being um, put a size eight, and they're not a size eight. But these are absolutely fantastic, these brushes. I love them so much that I had to go and buy another one. And they only work out... Let me have a look at this in a minute. Because it's stamped incorrectly. £1.86. I love these. And last time I ordered two and one of the bristles was shorter than the other. So it was probably just about half an inch shorter. But that's fine. These brushes are gorgeous. So I went over and I had a look at the Andover series. And they had these green ones. And this is a number four. And I thought I could do with that for smaller ones. This wasn't very much neither. Now this wasn't in the clearance section. And it was only one pound. Oh, hang on a minute. It was. Where am I reading that from? Oh, two pounds forty-four at normal regular price. But it's nice. It's a number four, and I haven't got a number four brush, so I got those two. And then I just got a little box of some colours. So let's just open this up in a minute. It all comes nicely wrapped from there. Let me just take these oodles of noodles out. <laughs> oh, they're going everywhere. Right, let's just put them over there for a minute. Right, so as I said, I didn't get very much because uh, paint's expensive nowadays. But I got what I wanted, sort of. I still want to get some more of these, but, um, yeah, I like them. There's that label. It's come off of there. 
Um, right, so we'll go through these ones. So these are the sminky. These were what I swatched out on the dot card from the um, sminky granulating colours. So I've gone and got the half pans of the deep sea indigo. The deep sea green. The desert green, which is absolutely gorgeous and the tundra pink which you can't see on there because the label's not really there um i would have preferred if the label was on because i'm cutting the labels out and putting them on my paint chart but i guess if it isn't there it isn't there but i see this set now those um watercolors they were seven pound Oh, six pounds thirty-eight each. Mm, apart from the desert green, which was seven pound eight p. I bought these, and these are the Roman Smalls Aquarius watercolor paint, four pounds ECWS. They've got two in this size, with with the um set of fives. One's called the Starter. One's called the EC. CWS and they were £10.80 and I really wanted to try these and these are them in there so they're all wrapped up in a little thing there let me see what they're like because if they're actually in plastic pan then I'll put them into a different place I've got a place I can put them. Yeah, they are great. So, yeah, there they are. Quite sticky. I think they've got honey in them. So, I'll leave that off and just stick that back in there. You can leave them in this, but... Right, so you get lemon yellow, which is P.Y. Six one, you get R O red P R one four four French ultramarine, which is I'm not sure if that's an A or a B. Oh, it's a B P B twenty nine Aquarius green, which is P Y one fifty P B R twenty five P B29 and then you get hemor is what's that hemorite violet shade which is PR102 so you get some pretty colours there and you've got your basic primary colours that you could mix to make other colours but I liked I like them. Plus, I've got some more Aquarius ones coming. They had some really nice colours that sort of granulate as well. So I thought, right, I'm going to pick some of them up. Um, so I'm, I'm waiting for them to done cause I, uh, to come because I only done the order yesterday. So they should be here in a um, few days or so. But yeah, I just thought I'd show you them, guys. What I've got. Um... I'm excited with these paints to try them. I will un undo them later, swatch them, and I don't need to show you guys because you've seen them before, but they'd be nice. I wonder what they like in the pan, actually. Let's try this tundra. I want to try and keep these little bits on the top of these labels. When I swatch and they're like this, I usually keep the little bits if I can well I'll take it off on off the floor later there they are like that so they come in just like that then they're, they're not sticky they just glossy they feel like plastic but yeah they've got the sminky mark on them as well so yeah, all good fun, just a little video, and I'll catch you in my next video.
bye bye. Hi guys again. Right, this is the second order. Um, I was waiting for this to come so I can add it onto the previous one, which you'll see all together. It's only just come in the post. I've unwrapped it. I'm just going to take it all out of the box and then we'll have a look. Just treat myself basically because it's my birthday this month and um, thought I'd get a few things. I bought this, it was on offer, special offer. I'm always losing these things. I recently just bought another one. I couldn't tell you what pot it's in. I know it's on my table, but I've got so many of these around. I'm constantly losing bone folders. So these were big great. These were £2.40. Um, I expect that's the 8 inch. It's the, it is long. Um, and then there's that one in there. So they're coming handy. And I thought, why not for £2.40? That's a great deal. I just spent nearly a tenner for one on Amazon a few months ago. I just bought one pencil because I see someone had these pencils. And the white one was nice and creamy. And this was three pounds. You can get the full set, but you're talking hundreds of pounds with these pencils. So three pound a pop for a pencil. But the this they do two whites, and if you get the soft white, it's supposed to be like a creamy white. I can't even open this. Hang on a second. Some scissors or something. All these tools I've got. I haven't got anything around me that I can open things with. I'll just do them with some scissors. Right, it's in there. There it is. What else is in there? Just a bit of tissue, I think. Yeah. Right, so it will need sharpening. It is the... Oh, it's a Hoban, sorry. It's a Hoban Artist Coloured Pencil. And it is soft white. Use knife to sharpen, it says. It's the OP501. And this white is the one that goes on creamy. I'm guessing it's going to be like a Prismacolor pencil. But a little bit more creamier than that. I'd say, I mean, it feels waxy. I mean, look, I can get bits off of it. So it is supposed to be nice, super soft, and that's the purpose of it. So I will sharpen that up and test it. Put some of their air drying clay. They do two colours in it. They do this stone or the terracotta, I believe. There's a ton of stuff. Um, it's lovely and soft, though. They do this in, I think, about 13 kilograms, but I got this 500 grams because I just want to try it to see how it is. Um, really nice and soft. So I'll have to, when I open that, put that in something to seal it. If I haven't used it, you know, make sure it's airtight. That was, let me get price for that. Air drying clay, three pound forty. That clay. I also bought some of these. I bought two of the um, A five size, one of the A six, and one of the A four, and loving them. Just wanted to share these with you, and the prices are brilliant. Yeah, they've got a cover on them. Oh, the paper covers. I thought they were like, um, it looks on the site like they're a leverette, you know. But they've got the Jacksons embossed in, in the paper. They are just um, plain black paper. And then, what's the paper like? Yeah, it's enough to do very light more colouring on and sketches. But as a little sketchbook, you know, pencils would be fine in this. If you're um, doing pencils, even lightly walk colouring with pencils, brilliant. 
So yeah, there's lots of pages in there. Oh, let me just put them to one side. And then I've just got this box of paints. Right, so I've got these two. These are gouache paint or gouache or goulash or <laughs> I say goulash. I always say gouache. Um there was a pink I wanted and they've always been out of stock, but apparently they should have stock in I think it's late September or something like that. So I will go and have a look, but it's like a pale pink. But I got this rose and I got this what's that he hello thorp? Which is like a lavender, a bit darker. So I'm interested to try these gouache paints. They're the Shinhan Pass gouache. Oh, they're watercolour and gouache hybrid, sorry. And they're 20 mils. And they worked out as a pink one was £3.20. And the lavendery type of one was £2.96 in the sale. And then I've got these, which are the half pans. These are Jackson's paint, and I do like their paint because I've bought some before. And that's what mainly why I got these, because there was a certain colour I liked. And because I've got about, I think, four of their paints, I believe. So I've got another two um, while I was doing the order. And these were... find them uh they were two pounds 38 each so i've got the opera rose which is this one let me go down a bit now i can go down now because uh i've moved all the bigger things it's the opera rose and this one is the jackson's red but it's a nice red. It's a very um, grungy looking red. Like an earthy red. So I got that one because it looks really intriguing. And then lastly I got these. And these are the Roman Smalls paints. And they are full pans. And I have wanted a couple of these colours for a long time. There was a couple of other colours I wanted. There was a turquoise and an ocean blue, but I'll get them on an, another order if I do another order with them. But I wanted to get the favourite ones that I really wanted. And these, um, what are these? These were all £4.32 and £3.52 each. Oh, apart from one of them, which was £4.88. So, um, yeah, so I've got mineral violet, and these some of these paints granulate apparently. So, we will be testing them out on my channel. I will be doing that video, that being another video, because I'm going to test also the sminky ones out as well. Although I've, I've tested them before, you can see what they're like straight from the pan. Um, I've done a colour chart, but I'll I'll show you what they're like. Um, I got this. Oh, I can't pronounce that. Can you see that? P R Z B Y S Z Grey. Okay. <laughs> but this one granulates. Um, and I've got the black. Now that black has got that P K P R K oh what is that now? It's uh P K R eleven I believe and that makes things granulate and this has got shadow violet violet and this one is the shadow grey. So I've got basically darker shades of greys, black and violet colours. really liking them. I want to play with that clay at some point. Now I've got some resin today. Um, I'm going to test these colours out. So let me put them back in the box. And I'll test them um, gouache 
and what colour hybrids as well. I was watching them. I won't put it in one of the newer books, but um, I'll put it on a sheet of paper. And I want to test this pencil as well. So I will be back to do that. So thank you for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.